Well, good morning, folks. It's Friday, it's Coffee with Job, and we are going to look at Job chapter 39, and we're going to think about Ukraine as well, because even as I'm recording this, I can hear the television on in the background and the attacks on Ukraine, and I'll say more about that in a moment. But how does this work in with what? We're looking at Job 39, we're learning from the animals. We've seen about time and we've seen about freedom. Well, now we see about power. Verse nine of chapter 39, will the wild ox consent to serve you? Will it stay by your manger at night? Can you hold it to the furrow with a harness? Will it till the valleys behind you? Will you rely on it for its great strength? Will you leave your heavy work to it? Can you trust it to haul in your grain and bring it to your threshing floor? It's a, um, I don't know what the phrase is. It's a sarcasm, maybe, maybe humor that, that's being used here, if you can say that of the Lord speaking. Why? Because the wild ox was a huge animal. It's like six feet long. So, I mean, I'm six feet tall. So if I lay, if I, I lay down, then it would be that strength. And it's, it's laughable that you can tame it, that you can domesticate it. It's laughable that you can use it to till your ground. And it, it's almost like the Lord is saying to Job, can you be the ox whisperer? Can you, can, can you control this animal? No, you can't. But I can. God alone can harness this power. Now, I think in all of this, the idea of the power of God. So, how does this come to tie in with, well, why am I thinking of Ukraine with this? Well, President Putin likes to make himself a strong man. You know, that I, you know like the endless photos of him, you know, looking muscular and bare chested and, you know, in icy rivers or whatever. And What's happening in Ukraine now, it's like all wars, it's more complex than just one lot good, one another lot bad, but you can't do the equivalence thing. It's horrific. I, I've been in Ukraine, I've been in Kiev and some of the places and preached there. And, and just so sad to see what's happening and going on in Ukraine. However, we believe that the Lord is in, in, in control in so many different ways and can even bring good out of this evil. And I think of Psalm 22, where it talks about being rescued from the wild ox. And it's speaking about what Jesus did. And I'm thinking about Hebrews 2.14, where the power of death, the greatest enemy we have to face, is defeated by the death of Christ. So as we think about all of that, let's pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine and in Russia. And I'm going to leave you with this song, a beautiful song in Ukrainian. And our, our hearts weep for the people and we pray that they would be protected and we pray that the, the Lord would come. There are wars and rumors of wars. Lord, have mercy upon us. Uh, see you for, on Sunday for our song for Sunday and see you on Monday as we continue to look at this. Bye.
лиш тобі я відраду знайду. Please.